How you doing? How was your time off? How did you enjoy it, refresh it, you know, look over everything? How did you spend it? Yeah, I um, got to spend some time in Texas uh, with the family and then uh, obviously had my charity gala, um, which was really cool. Um, and then got to go to the Texas Tech game at uh, KU. So uh, a lot of family time. Um, got to look at a little bit of football as well. Um, but uh, it's good, always good to get the bye week, especially kind of that midpoint of the season to kind of refresh and uh, restart for the uh, next part of it. What part of, the, what part of the football aspect did you really focus on? Yeah, I think for me, it's you learn for. I always go back to the fundamentals, try to get back to my fundamentals as best as I can during the bye week. Um, and then I think watching the tape, seeing what we did well, what we can improve on, um, and then try to use that into this next part of the season and try to be even better than when we went into the bye. Does that play surprise you when you go back and do kind of a more thorough review like that? Um, I think what I've realized just now is. It's, it's never as big as it, as it seems. There's always little things um, as far as fundamentals, as far as games and stuff like that. And so uh, it doesn't surprise me now, but instead of trying to make these big, huge changes, you just go back to the fundamentals and try to execute even better. Patrick, with the def new defensive coordinator with the Eagles, they have some, obviously some different personnel. But outside of those main topics, what have you seen differently from this defense that may be better or worse than what you saw from the Super Bowl? Yeah, I mean, they're, they're really good. I mean, at the end of the day, that's, that's the main thing. Uh, they have a lot of the same players, and they, they've added some more talent. Um, D-line's special, one of the best D-lines I think I've, I've ever seen. Um, just waves of guys that can come in and play, a mixture of veterans and young guys. Uh, the DBs, two great DBs at, at cornerback position, uh, adding Bayard and uh, a blanket ship at the safety position, and then linebackers, guys that have played and been in the league for a little bit now. So um, they, have a, they have a good defense in general. I mean, obviously a great team, but a good defense in general in all, all aspects. And so for us, it would be a great challenge. See um, with the receivers growing in, in the second half and as you go here. I, I've always felt like throughout the season, my the chemistry gets better and better. Um, obviously, everybody wants everybody the receivers to blow up and everything like that. But I think guys have gotten better as the season's gone on, and um, they'll continue to get better. And um, we're, we're making strides in the right direction. And I think uh, we'll keep keep doing that as the season goes, and hopefully carry that momentum into the playoffs. On top of that, how, how much do you take pride in? You know, making it better. We always hear about, you know, like Michael Jordan makes his players, mm -hmm. made his players better. How do you, how do you see that? Yeah, I mean, all you can do is go out there and, and try to be great every single day. Um, and that's what I try to do in practice, get extra reps, um, and then into the game and try to make those adjustments on the fly. And so uh, uh, I push guys to, to give everything they have every single day. And uh, luckily for me, I have a lot of guys like that on the team. Um, but uh, at the end of the day, you, you just have to go and keep at it, stay with the process, and, at the end, and then at the end of the year, uh, you're satisfied with the results. Patrick, in a game like this where the best team in the NFC, the best in the AFC, and two great quarterbacks, do you love that? I mean, the Super Bowl proved you and Jalen battled it out to the very end. You were injured. You look at that game. Is that kind of what you expect in this Monday night stage? Yeah, it's going to be a great game. Um, like you said, you got great teams in general. I mean, obviously Jalen's a great quarterback, um, but I think just the full entire team on both sides is, is you never know how the game's going to go. It could be high scoring. It could be low scoring. But uh, two teams that usually find a way to get a win and playing on Monday night football in front of the, the whole world, uh, it's going to be a great game, and I'm glad it's at Arrowhead. Patrick, Andy's talked for a long time. I just asked him about you know, every game. So many games come down to the very end, and you've you got to have those hurry up drives. And you've been very successful at it. I'm just curious. Do you and you go through a checklist. You seem to know when to risk or I mean, Buffalo, you mm -hmm. threw the pick, but you knew you had to go fast, yep. right, last year. Is there a mental checklist you go through that this is more urgent, I've got to be more risky here because it's worth it, it's the only way to get it done? How, how does that work in your brain when you figure that out? We, just, we talk through it every single week. Um, every week I've been here from OTAs through now, um, it, we talk about – situations, um, if we're down two scores, we're down one score, what the situation is, what, what time we want to score before, all these different situations and prepare us um, as best as we possibly can for games. And you watch other teams around the league, you take notes from that stuff as well. And I just always feel prepared because we, we do that. Um, and so uh, I know I'm on the same page with Coach Reed, with N Coach Nagy, everybody is that we know what we're trying to do in that situation. And so if you need to press the issue, press the issue. If you want to take some time off the clock, take some time off the clock. And I think that's – you see in the NFL, I mean, you saw this last week, um, they're, all the games are close, so it's who executes at the, the end of games the best, and that's who ends up winning. Sam, I know I asked you this a couple of years ago, going back five years when you did the, the uh, shop, I think the LeBron mm -hmm. James show, and you said, 
I can't wait. You know, Peyton Man and Tom, they, they see mm -hmm. everything now. In five years, I think was the number you said. Yeah. Can't wait to see where I'll be. I know you're not the type to be like, yeah, I got it all figured out. But yeah. you look back and go, wow, look at what I know now, and is there still more to learn? Yeah, I think you have to find the right balance. I feel like I obviously know a lot more uh, than that than I knew in, in that chair that day. Um, but I think uh, you always want to have that that mentality of you're going to make it happen. Um, and that's what I had in that, that chair that day, and I feel like I still have now. Is Even if you know what, what the right read is, sometimes you want to make the big play happen whenever it's needed. And uh, I have to balance that line uh, throughout my entire career. Has it been an adjustment for you, the way you guys are playing defense now, that maybe you don't need to do some of the things you've done in the past? Has that been an adjustment for you? Are you playing the game, you feel like the same way? Um, there's definitely an adjustment, I think, just early in the season. Um, but... I've I've had a feel for that. I think as seasons have gone on, you have a feel for how the whole team's playing, not just the defense, the offense, special teams, stuff like that. Um, and you have to adjust on the fly. It's week in, week out. You have to make adjustments. And so, obviously, if the defense is playing good um, and the offense maybe not playing to the level I want, you you run some time off the clock. Or if uh, you feel like the offense needs to score, you you speed it up. But that that's just part of playing the quarterback position. And um, it's not always pretty, but if you get the win at the end of the day, that's what you want. Um, you see so, so, some teams, you see some similar stuff, but I would say we still, we still see a lot of unscouted stuff. I mean, uh, having a guy like Travis makes it a lot different because uh, just because the level that he plays at, it takes so much attention for the defenses to go up against. And then they know we want to throw it deep, so they, they stay deep and make, make us be patient and drive the length of the field. And um, I mean, I want to throw it deep as much as everybody, um, but uh, it's, uh, it, it's, they, they're making me earn it and throw it short, and I think that's why we're having to drive the field these last few years. And so uh, we have to continue to prove that to get guys come up so we can hit the deep pass when it is there. Patrick, you spoke about your gala. You had Doug Williams there mm -hmm. presented you with the Black College Football Hall of Fame uh, Founders Award. Mm -hmm. Speak about that. What was that feeling like? That yeah, that was actually a surprise to me. I knew uh, Doug and uh, Shaq Harris were going to be there, um, but – I didn't know I was getting that award, and it, and it, it is an honor. It, it really is. I mean, those are the, the true greats of the game that put me in the position where I can be playing the quarterback position uh, today. And for them to present an award like that to me, um, it's a tremendous honor. Uh, just to know that they've recognized me for something whenever I know that everything that I've done is because of them. We'll ask to Neil and then Nate. Go ahead, Neil. Uh, Patrick, I, I have a producer who asked me, this is a two-part question. Mm -hmm. He wanted me to ask you about your underwear. Mm -hmm. uh, because I got in the media, we got a chance to see you on the sideline at Texas Tech. You can't go anywhere. It's like it's like mm -hmm. Beatlemania. What's your life like? Uh, it's calmer than Travis's. I'll say that. So, <laughs> so uh, I think I'm doing all right. I'll keep uh, just playing football and having fun doing it. And about your underwear. Well, my, my underwear, it's, I've, I've worn them my entire career. And, and I, I, Chad actually said something about after, right before he retired, he said something about it, and it kind of went under the radar. And I was like, thank, thank goodness, man. I, no one picked that up. And then, of course, I think it was Eli had to say it on the broadcast. And I was like, now it's going to be a thing. So uh, they'll still be worn as long as we're winning. So I'll, I'll make sure to clean them. And I don't wear them in the games. I just wear them to the games. So they're not that bad. <laughs> but uh, hopefully we still keep winning games. I can wear them for 20-plus years. How old are they? Well, I've been starting for set six years. So they're, they're six years so old. only professional. Yeah, only professional. Um, Brittany got, kind of got them before one of my first starts. And I wore it, um, that Chargers game, and the rest is history. <laughs> So glad we have 30 on this. <laughs> 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 I have two questions for you, Patrick. Uh, just how beneficial is it for you to have everybody healthy going into this week, obviously being available to practice? And then since you are in your seventh year, how much imprint, say, do you have for the coaching staff mm -hmm. for the bye week that maybe you didn't have in 2017, 2018? Yeah, I, I would say it's obviously great when you have – healthy guys this time of the year and we try to maintain that with with Rick and the training staff and and with the weight room as well um but uh I mean just having those guys out there practicing you have that chemistry and then we've gotten to work with the other guys as well and so that's always a plus and you want to keep that maintaining that and then I think it's I mean you get more and more every year uh, I mean I got to talk to the Na coach Nagy I got to talk to Girardi I got to talk to uh, Coach Reed during the bye week um, and just kind of they gave me some of their input, some of the stuff they wanted me to work on. I, I told them stuff that I liked, stuff that I thought we could get better at, um, and we're going to try to execute that this week. I mean, what a better challenge than playing the Eagles the first week out of the bye and seeing where we're really at. Thanks. Appreciate it.